we had had a fire at one of our restaurants and I was looking online for some sort of inspiration. I didn't know what I was looking for. I think I had Googled um, vintage New York menus or something like that. And I found a matchbook from a restaurant called Hexter's, but it said great neck on the bottom. So I didn't know what it was. And I sent a picture of the matchbook to my parents. And I said, is this your Hexter's? And uh, they said, yeah, those were our matches. And I said, wow. There you go, it's settled. That's what we're doing. We're reopening Hexters. I'm the mother, and this is the father. And in 1980, I met Bobby at the original Hexters, which was just around the corner. So if it weren't for Hexters, this beauty wouldn't be here. <laughs> Whoever thought that, this, that the incredible restaurant from the 70s would reemerge in Manhattan right around the corner. And it's been of all the restaurants that we have owned, I can safely say that this is my absolute favorite because of the history and just the, the incredible togetherness of the three of us, and it's been the best. One of the uh, things for me is the legacy of what Hex Tours was, and we never knew if, in fact, anybody would remember or respond to the fact that this restaurant existed for 10 years in the 70s. And when we started to post it, it became a very, very interesting thing to see the response. And when we started to open it, the amount of people that came in to talk about the meat bar there, that became the first Hexters with the grandparents in the early 1900s and the parents and them all buying meat from, from the butcher shop that we owned and then went to the restaurant around the corner. Now to be a Hexters customer in 77, we sort of have to be 70 years old and over, and we're getting a lot of people coming in. And the legacy of them remembering their great times and good times, I think is one of the things that makes me proudest. Yeah, so the original Hexters was right around the corner on 82nd and 3rd, or actually like butted up against their back wall. Um, so, you know, it's, it's close to home, we're still in the neighborhood, and we love the Upper East Side so much. I'm born and raised here. So to be able to put another restaurant on the Upper East Side that feels like it's becoming, you know, something that really services the neighborhood is really meaningful to us. It's the third iteration of this space for us. Yeah. First it was Zocalo, then it was Flex Muscles, and now it's Hextra. So we just, we love this space. It's like a little hidden gem. The Gorgonzola garlic bread was a classic dish from the Hexters menu that I've been hearing about my whole life and I finally got to try it. Um, so it's pretty classic garlic bread on like Italian bread, a lot of garlic butter, and then it's smothered in gorgonzola cheese sauce and it's pretty decadent. It's the kind of dish that it goes through the dining room and it's smoking a little bit and the whole place smells and everyone's turning around saying like, what is that? Um, so that's our real homage to Hexter's. The rest of the menu here is honestly just comfortable food that you want to eat. It's supposed to be approachable and delicious and the kind of place where you can come a few nights a week um, to, you know, you can celebrate a graduation in the back with a prime rib and a steak or you can have a burger and a martini at the bar. So it's kind of supposed to fill any void that you need. Our burger is delicious. We went back and forth on a bunch of different preparations. This is a double smash patty, um, and it's served with this incredible new American cheese called New School American Cheese. So it's two patties, two slices of American cheese, our special sauce, and some delicious pickles all on an Eli's bun. So it's really great. It's just, it tastes like a better Big Mac, honestly. It's been emotional bringing this to the neighborhood. The response we've gotten from our neighbors and our old regulars has been overwhelming. Um, people are so excited to have us on the Upper East Side, which is always such a nice feeling. It's crazy to open and be so busy from the beginning, so we feel so lucky to be doing this, honestly. I love my family so much and I'm so proud of my daughter and my husband. Uh, and that's what I want to add. I like yeah. that. <laughs>